Hi everyone, it's Caritha. If you're new here, then hey, how you doing? Welcome to Essence of Polish. And if you've been here before, welcome back and hey, how you doing? <laughs> what I have for you today is a double water marble, which is basically dipping the same nail twice when you're water marbling. So now, let's get the video started. The colors I'm using is this grayish green color from Sassy Chick. It doesn't have a name, but the number is 901. And this really pretty shimmery orange is LA Colors Soulmate. Now that I take my finger so that cleanup won't be as much of a mess, I'm going to grab my water and start marbling. I started making the bullseye with the orange at first, but it didn't really it didn't spread very good, so then I took that out and I started with the green and that spread it out much better. So, if you're learning water marble or if you're trying to water marble, and your colors are not spreading you can always try reversing the order that you're dripping the colors even if you're using like five polishes <laughs> even if you're using like five polishes if you switch it up a little bit then that can help uh, get the colors to spread out better oh and I forgot to mention if you drag your orange stick around the outside of that first drop before it dries then that can help with spreading the colors too And shaking the water can help. I'm just forgetting to say everything. <laughs> I'm saying it like piece by piece instead of saying it all together. Even though I, technically I still can because I'm editing right now. But uh, it's just showing y'all my personality for me to keep the video the way it is. But yeah. Uh, reversing the colors. Dragging your orange stick around the outside of that first drop before it dries. And shaking the water all three of those can help spread the colors out and cleaning the water let me not forget to say that and say that later on in the video cleaning your water can uh help spread the colors too i was gonna include how to clean the water but for some freaking reason <laughs> uh, my software wouldn't split the clip so that I could you know take out the parts that don't really need to be in the video you know keep the good part and throw away the rest and I, I could try it again right now but I don't really feel like it <laughs> it'll be in the next uh, water marble video which my next video is a water marble
So I marbled my left index finger and I left the tape on because now I'm about to marble that same nail again which gives it the name a double water marble. And I'm looking at it to see, I'm looking at the, the design in the cup and on my nail to see where I want the second design because even though my nail is already marbled you can still pick and choose where you want your second marble to be on your nail because let's say the first water marble has a lot of vertical lines on the left side of your nail then you can even it out with the second marble and aim it to have more vertical lines on the right side of your nail Here goes my left middle finger. And then middle left D again. If your bullseye is moving around while you're drawing your design, you can stick the polish to the side of the cup, but do it with a light touch because you don't want your orange stick to get stuck in the polish and you end up dragging the whole design out of the cup. So that is it for this design. I didn't like it at first because, you know, some of the first water marbles were actually cute and I didn't want to do the second water marble, but this is a double water marble manicure so I had to just go ahead and do it but then as I as I was wearing it it started to look started to be, get real cute and I started to like it and you know what it reminds me of spider webs like this would be real cute in black white and silver and accent it with some spiders that would be real cute like you'll probably see this again for Halloween but anyway I hope you liked this video and uh, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video